Hello, good afternoon. My name is Ilma and this is Ilma from uh, Ilma Art Studio channel. And I'd like to share with you today my poem devotional and just in the background a painting of a the fisherman. This is the title of the painting, The Fisherman. It's a, <clears throat> it's a watercolor painting. But I won't talk much about that, and I'll probably talk about that in another art talk. But today, I'd like to share with you the poem devotional for today is entitled, Why Am I Here? And it is extracted from Acts 20, verse 24, which says, But my life is worth nothing to me, unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus, the work of telling others, the good news. And here is the poem that I wrote. What is my purpose here on earth? Is it to relate with others or satisfy myself? Should I pursue my own desires? Am I living in the standards that God requires? Life is nothing unless the work of God is done. It is spreading the good news of His one and only Son. He sacrificed and died for us so we can be redeemed. God wants us to believe in Him so we can be healed. And uh, here is the essay part of the devotional, Working for God. One of the most challenging circumstances I faced in life was to migrate here to Canada. I gave up a career of being with my friends and family. I was stripped of a chance to continue where I left from. It was a struggle to find a job, to have that same comfort that I had back in the Philippines. The Bible tells us that life is worth nothing unless it is used to spread the good news of God's love for us. I am thankful and blessed that I am working for God now. He had to strip all that I materially possessed so He can heal me and use me as His messenger. Prayer Lord, give me the strength to continually work for Your Kingdom. Reflection How have you participated in God's ministry of spreading the good news? And here is... Uh, some testimony that has to do with uh, our why why our purpose in life or why are we here um that has always been my questions like uh for a long time i thought that i am here because i have gifts and because you know because i have to do my best to do it, it I, my i was raised to to live a life that I always had to do my best. It's it's always like a, I have to always put my best foot forward. But that is not what the Bible says. The Bible says that our purpose here is to spread God's word of His love. And the good news is that God loves us so much. And for people who have really negative experiences with uh, with people, with relationships, cannot fathom how a God that we cannot see visually can love us so much unconditionally and so he asks us to spread the good news of his love especially for those people who are hurting it's really and I can speak for in my own experience sometimes even now I still fall back to my old ways and the more the more i hunger for his words the more i am tested the more i'm given these challenges in my life that sometimes are i'm sorry i'm getting emotional sometimes are very hard to to bear so <clears throat> today i came from church and uh, i just uh, our priest was actually our pastor i mean our pastor was actually talking about the prayer our father and it is so amazing how he was able to present it in a different perspective because sometimes 
the rope prayer we know it by heart since we were kids we were taught how to pray the our father and blabber and blabber but don't we don't really know what it means and it is amazing how how he likened it to a to a baseball game where you you need to start your prayer like the base where the you know the where the home base is that's the start of prayer our kingdom the lord's kingdom so anything well, but what we usually do is we pray for what we want we pray for wishes we pray for the, our family we pray for everybody to change the way we want them to change but really it's amazing that even the lord's prayer requires us to forgive others when we pray but still we have to go back down to the nitty gritty of it all that it's about God's kingdom and we need to align everything we do according to his will and that that is very very hard to understand with the very limited mind that we have we are not God and we don't know what what his plans are but we can always follow and obey what he says through his word because he has given us the scriptures he has given us a guide a map to our life so that we will be able to to take hold of his promises so with that we end I'm sorry I got emotional there um, there's so many things going on in my life right now and mind you when you're closer to God you can be questioned with so many things and sometimes when you're closer to God also um, you get tempted to think that you're closer to him and you know it all and that's self-righteousness and that's what not God wants us to have he wants us to be righteous but not self-righteous because those are two different things so that ends my poem devotional today and I hope that it gives you a, a time to meditate on the question why am I here God bless and check my website at www.ilmaarts.com so you can take a look at the glory of God how he has showered me with all the gifts that I have right now because if not for him, I won't have all these talents that I'm sharing with you. Have a wonderful weekend.